It's January and only about two weeks until spring training. So you know what that means? Some way too early predictions. Hey guys, it's Josh and I know it all coming to you today to give you my way too early spring training hasn't even started predictions. I want to talk about which teams I think might take the division, wild card spots, as well as maybe a through, you know, I'll throw in a few MVP and uh, Cy Young names in there. But guys, before we jump into that, please click like on the video. I'll leave a comment down below on which teams you think have a chance to make a run this year. You know, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It really does help it out. And guys, you know, I just love talking about baseball and having you guys watch it. So uh, right off the bat, let's jump in here to the AL West. I've been born and raised a Mariner fan, so the AL West is really the division that I follow the most. And I will tell you right now, I think the Houston Astros are not going to repeat as the West champions. I think they're going to stumble this year. Uh, there still might be a playoff team. Um, I kind of have them in that little bubble area. But I think the Oakland A's take the West this year. And, you know, really for no other reason that the Mariners are not very good in this league, in this division. The Rangers might be a little bit better. I don't think they are. I think they may actually have gotten worse this offseason. Uh, the Angels are still competitive. Uh, they've got some improvements offensively. Still don't know they have the pitching to really compete. So that leaves it down to two teams, Astros, A's. I think the A's take it this year. Um, just simply because the Astros are going to face an uphill battle this year that no other team's going to have to face. So I got the A's and the AL West. Jumping to the AL Central, this one was actually interesting. I don't think Cleveland is as strong as they used to be. I'd even say that they're kind of dropping in the standings. I think the White Sox are getting stronger. Um, Detroit, Kansas City, don't even count them in this one. Uh, they're the same level as the Mariners, and that's not even in competition. So that leaves really the Twins uh, and, the, like I said, the White Sox who are getting better. Uh, as I look at it more and more, I believe the White Sox are going to improve. I think they're going to improve, you know, maybe as many as 10 games this year. But in the end, it's still the Twins ball game. They brought in some guys this offseason. They're going to help them hit even more home runs, uh, which is impressive because they just powered the ball last year. You know, even if the ball isn't as hot this year, the Twins are still going to hit home runs. They're still going to hit a lot of home runs, uh, just the way things are. And I got the Twins to win the Central. Jumping to the AL East, and this one is kind of co of a competitive division more than I really thought so when I first looked at it. Uh, of course, you have, you know, the Yankees in there, going to be tough. You have Boston in there that I don't really know how they're going to do this year. Uh, lots of question marks going out there. You got the Rays, who are going to be competitive. They're always competitive. And then you have Baltimore, who, let's let's be honest, Baltimore is coming in last place. That's just what's going to happen. The only team in their division that's going to compete with them for last place is Toronto. Those two teams are, are out. They're done. I know Toronto's got a lot of young, great players, but they're not going to compete with the Yankees because the Yankees are taking this division. The Rays will be the closest. Um, I think the Red Sox actually stumble further back than they did last year. So once again, I got Yankees winning the AL East, which jumps into the wild card. And I'm going to throw the, the Rays in there right now. Not even going to hesitate. The Rays will take a wild card spot. Uh, they are just, they always do. They always are competitive. They always win. It doesn't matter what they trade or sign. They're always competitive. And that's impressive for a team that really has no fan base. You know, it's true. They don't really have a fan base. There's a, few people who support them, but most of the people in that area cheer on other teams from out of the area. So I'm impressed with the Rays, what they've done. I have them taking a wild card spot and a second wild card spot. I, I'm, I'm torn right here. I'm going to say Astros, but I'm going to say White Sox are one game back of them. I think it's going to be the Astros and the White Sox fighting for that last wild card spot. Now, I may be way off. Once again, way too early predictions. I'm just giving these so in case I get something right, I can say, look how smart I was. But these are really early predictions. You never know what's going to happen. Injuries in spring training, that type of stuff. But I got I got the Astros with the White Sox right on their heels. So, American League recap, 
A's, Twins, Yankees win their divisions. Rays, Astros come in at wild card um, with the White Sox right there. But let's jump to the National League. National League, now this was actually tougher. These, these divisions were tougher than the American League to pick winners because uh, there's going to be some teams that have really improved and are kind of scary in their division races. So for the National League West, I'm still choosing the Dodgers. Until someone actually knocks them off in the West, they're my favorite to win it. I mean, it's just it's that simple. They are the West champions. No one's proven otherwise. They can compete with them. The Rockies are not going to get there. Padres will be better, but they're not going to get there. Um, San Francisco is not even going to be close this year. That leaves the Diamondbacks, who did get better. They've gotten better this offseason, but in the end, still the Dodgers. The National League Central, and this one, the one I chose... It took me a couple days to really come to grips with this. It really took me a couple days to bounce around and see who I, I wanted to pick. Um, obviously, we know that the Pirates are not going to be involved in this race. Uh, they're just spectators. Um, good luck for them. Have, hope they have a nice season playing golf because uh, that's about all they're going to do this year. They're not going to do much else. Uh, maybe start some fights. It, that's probably something they'll do. But this division is going to be tough. The Cubs are going to be tough. The Cardinals are going to be tough. The Brewers are going to be tough. The Cincinnati Reds are going to win the division, though. I, I, I'm saying it right now. The Cincinnati Reds will win the Central. Um, I think the Cubs will slip a little bit. They're still going to be tough, but they'll slip. The Cardinals will slip a little bit. Uh, unless they make a big trade for a third baseman. Um, right now, I have them slipping. Brewers are going to be right there at the top. Uh, but I think Cincinnati, they've done enough this offseason to make them a legitimate contender. And I've got them winning the Central. The East. The East is a fun one. Um, you have a few teams that you don't really need to count on. Uh, the Marlins are not a team that I really think are going to be in this. Uh, I think the Nationals are going to be competitive. They are the World Series champions, so I can't count them out. But I don't see them being as strong this year. Uh, they still might make the playoffs, but I don't see them winning the, the AL East. I don't see the Mets winning the AL East. I don't really see the Phillies. I mean, the Phillies might be competitive more than so, more than last year, uh, but I really think this is the Braves' division to win or to lose. It's up to them. You know, they're going to decide. You know, how many games they take this division by, uh, just because they got a talented team. Yes, they have a a hole at third base at the moment. I don't think that hole will last very long. I think they're going to fill that hole pretty quickly. They've got a good young core. I think the Braves take the East, but it's going to be a close division. In fact, I think all the divisions in the National League are going to probably come down to five games <coughs> five games or less. I really think it's going to be that close across the National League. But let's jump into the wild card. And as I said, with the uh, NL West, the Dodgers are going to win it, but the D-backs are going to be right there with them. So I got Diamondbacks winning the first wild card spot. And I got the Brewers taking the second wild card spot, meaning that the defending champion Nationals will not be in the playoffs, uh, which is kind of a shame. I actually enjoyed really watching them last year, uh, seeing their run. But you know what? Baseball is tough. Playing a full season and, and making the playoffs, it's tough. It's a long grind, and it's what happens. So my National League recap, once again, I got Dodgers, Reds, Braves, winning their divisions, and I've got the D-backs and the Brewers coming in at the wild card. Guys, once again, this is way too early. There's still a lot of things that happen. Injuries can happen. Trades can happen. There's still a lot of trades that are on the cusp of happening right now that just haven't had the trigger pulled yet. Um, so that's what I think. Now, guys, I'll throw in a couple of things, I think, for like MVP and Cy Young. Uh, American League MVP, surprise, surprise, Mike Trout. I will never ever vote against Mike Trout as being my favorite to win the MVP until he retires. And even then, I'm going to wait till halfway through the season before I say he can't win the MVP. Because I think if he came back halfway through his retirement, he'd still have a chance to win the MVP. So Mike Trout, all day long, first ballot Hall of Famer. There it is right now. That's my guy. National League, this one's tougher. There's a, a lot of competitors in and out of that, that league that I just – I know it's tough because, you know, you got Bellinger who won it last year. You got Yelich who is, can win it. You've got the Braves have, you know, a few guys that could make make waves. 
It's just there's so many guys in the National League. You know, and the more I think about it, I'm still not 100% sure who I think will get it. But, but, if I had to put a name down, if I had to say this is my MVP vote, I'm going to go with Christian Yelich with the Brewers. I think he just, he might be the most complete player in the National League. Bellinger has something to say about that, but that's what it is. Um, so, guys, those are some MVP things I threw in there. Cy Young, I really don't know who I'm going to pick for my Cy Young this year. Um, I went years of picking Clayton Kershaw for the National League. That was easy. Um, Max Scherzer would probably be a quick and easy one, and no one would blink an eye at. I think for the American League, Garrett Cole. Although I think his numbers are not going to be as solid as they have been, um, not saying the Astros cheated with their pitchers, even though I think they cheated with their pitchers, somehow, some way, I don't know, I'm not, not that into the know to understand, but I think Garrett Cole has a chance to win a Cy Young uh, with the Yankees, I really do. So guys, those are just my thoughts, my opinions, way too early once again. You never know what's going to happen when it comes to spring training and even the fr first couple weeks of the season, but you know what? I might even change my mind tomorrow on who I think is going to win and all that stuff. So that's just my quick thoughts, my way too early predictions. Guys, I'm Josh, and I know it all, and I will talk to you guys later.